Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you something that is going to absolutely blow your mind. So this is ChatGPT and ChatGPT is an AI chatbot that is created by the company OpenAI that is very famous for its work in the field of artificial intelligence. And this ChatGPT is by far the smartest and the most powerful AI chatbot that I have ever seen. And not only it is very self-aware and it has the knowledge of almost every field, but it is also very human-like and it has some morals and ethics as well. So let me show you what all it can do. And I have been talking to it. I have been asking it questions for hours and it has not failed to impress me even once. So us being programmers, we talk about programming. So let's test the programming knowledge of ChatGPT. So let's start simple. Suppose you're learning algorithms and you want to know, you want to know Dijkstra's algorithm. So you can ask it, explain Dijkstra's algorithm. It will tell you. So this is supposed to be simple, right? Just asking it to explain Dijkstra's algorithm. Let's see how it performs. So I am asking it and here we go. It's already told something about the algorithm. So here it's only telling something. But suppose I want the implementation. So I can ask it. Give me implementation. So I can ask it that I'm not satisfied with the explanation. I also want the implementation. So it's even giving an implementation in Python right now. So as you can see, this is an implementation that it is giving in Python and I want you to keep track. I want you to make note of the fact that it is even having comments in the code. Okay. And it's explaining the code very clearly if in case you want to learn. So let it finish. So like the code is in Python right now. Suppose I don't like Python. I don't know Python. I want to know in Java or C++. I can ask it. Give me code in C++ and let's see so it is even going to give you the implementation in C++ any programming language you want it is going to give you an implementation in that okay so these are just the classic algorithms now let's see whether we can give it some programming problems to solve or not so let it finish and then we'll ask it some programming problems of our own so this is a very well written code and it has comments in it as well. So let me give it a programming problem. Let me give it something very simple. So given an array A, so given an array A is equal to, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. So I want you to find, or I want you to write code to find the minimum element. So this is a very simple problem. Almost every programmer can solve this, but, but let's see whether chat GPT can solve it. So again, you, you, you can see that it has now taken track of the fact that we want C++. So now it will only give code in C++. It will not repeat Python again. So you can see here, it has written code to find the minimum element. So while I was editing the video, I wanted to see whether the chatbot could solve problems from Codeforces or not. So I fed it some problems from Codeforces. And for the difficult problems, it's not able to write the correct code. It comes up with an approach which is correct sometimes. However, the code does not work in on all the test cases. But coming to the coming to the easy problems, it is able to solve it. So what I did was I fed this problem to the chatbot and initially to my surprise it gave a correct code. However, then again when I fed it the same question, it gave a code with the wrong answer. Then again it gave a wrong answer and again it gave a wrong answer. So this is a very easy problem. So what I'll do is I'll just feed it in front of you and let's see how it reacts. Let's see whether it's able to write the correct code for this problem or not. So this is a very easy problem. You can see that it's just 800 rated, very easy string based problem. Let's see whether it's able to write the correct code or not for this. So it's already come up with an approach. As you can see, it has an approach. It has even implemented it in code and we can, you can see the speed that it has. So we can ask for the code in C++. Let's just write code in C++. And with just that, it will be able to understand and it will give us code in C++. Okay, so here we go. It has given us an implementation in C++ and moment of truth. Let's see whether the code is working or not. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this code and then let me feed it to the checker and let's see whether the code it has written is correct or not. So moment of truth, let's see. And here we go. 
it's accepted so it is very amazing that this chatbot is able to solve problem from code forces even if it is the easy problems it is still able to solve problems from code forces which is just amazing and again like i told you even if it is failing on a difficult problem if you give it some coaching you tell it that this approach is wrong this is the test case that you're failing on it will learn from that and then it will eventually give you the right answer so that's just amazing i just wanted to put it in the middle of the video because i just found this while editing so here we go so you can use this chatbot to solve all your programming problems so this is just something related to problem solving suppose i'm doing development right and suppose i'm using unirest in java to make api call so let me ask it how to make delete api call in unirest in spring boot so let's see whether it knows development okay and as you can see it is even telling me how i can write the code to make an api call for the delete okay and i can even use it to say explain unirest in spring boot so here we go it is explaining unirest in spring boot it is even telling me what dependency i need to put in order to be able to use unirest so this chatbot can pretty much do everything so this is something that is really amazing and the fact that you have access to it is amazing so you have endless possibilities to use this chatbot you can literally do everything okay you can even solve any programming problem if you feed it to it you can even ask it to debug your code okay it can pretty much do anything for you it can debug your code for you it can solve a coding problem for you it can give you test cases it can do pretty much everything that you can imagine so the future is right here and the best part is that you have access to it so you can definitely use this in your learning in case you want to learn programming you want to learn data structures you want to learn algorithms you can definitely come here ask whatever your doubt is and it will help you and this is completely free of cost and that is just mind blowing so again you can go to this link you can go to this chatbot and you can ask your questions yourself uh, this is just a few questions i have asked it like hundreds of question and it has answered almost everything correctly so very amazing like i just wanted to share this with you guys i don't know if you already know of it but this is something that is really amazing so this is a very powerful chat gpt that you can use in your learning you can use to become a better programmer so that's all thank you